I'll tell you what, it is lucky that we've got Edinson Cavani, Bruno Fernandes, Paul Popper, because our defence, oh, mate, what was that tonight? We've just conceded five goals in a European semi-final over two legs and got to the final because we scored eight. Edinson Cavani, you're damn right I'm playing that song. All you've got to do is give the ball to Edinson Cavani. We did that two times tonight, baby, so you get this song. Give it, give it, give it to Eddie Cavani. Pass him the ball and watch him score all the goals. United in the Europa League final. Not by the skin of our teeth. We dominated in that first leg. It was 6-2. We were playing well tonight. David De Gea, arguably man of the match. You know, Cavani got two goals, but De Gea was truly sensational. And had he not made that save, just be, I think if Roma scored it, they would have been 3-1 up. That would have made it nervous, but he made that save. And then United went down the other end. Cavani got the second goal, and it sort of killed the tie as a competitive fixture. But United's defence was a chocolate teapot tonight. Alex Tellez, is he a, is he a defender? Is he a, is he a footballer? What is he? That was horrific. He looked like a like John O'Shea playing in goal. After, <laughs> that's how out of place he looked. But ultimately, tonight is a happy affair. United are in the Europa League final. There was 90 seconds left there on the Villarreal-Arsenal game. And Villarreal were through at that point. Doesn't really matter who they who we play. We're going to win, right? But that was a big moment. These, these two games were, were, were big for Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. He needed this. He needs this silverware. Because this can be wrapped up in a season of real progress for Manchester United if we win that trophy. If we don't, we've just finished second to City, who are probably going to win the double or, well, some sort of fake treble, some pony treble. But if we win that trophy, we win that first piece of silverware, we head into next season in such a strong shape with the strongest squad that we've got. And hopefully, I tell you what, Edinson Cavani has to be part of that. What, what a striker he is, man. Eight goals we scored over two legs there against Roma. He directly contributed to seven of them, either a goal or an assist. Talk about stepping up to the big occasion. Cavani was absolutely fantastic. And the, the, oh, all the goals that he scored. I mean, he could have had a couple before he actually did score tonight, but then he just rifled it home. And the second goal, a lovely curled ball from Bruno Fernandes and a, and a glancing nod from Cavani. He truly is world class. He's younger than Jamie Vardy. He's fantastic for this squad. He's going to definitely be helping all the players around him. He's elite. He's on Bruno Fernandes and Paul Pogba level and we cannot afford to let him go because if we're going to struggle this summer to get a defensive midfielder that we want or a centre-back that we want, let alone getting more than one. And Cavani, we have to just woo him. I don't care. Bring all the, bring all the Uruguay to Manchester. Pay for the whole fucking town to move there to make him feel more at home. I don't care what it takes. He has to be signed. And he has to start in that final. He's he's basically got us there. Bruno Fernandes, again, this guy's on a different level. But <laughs> I can't believe how bad our defence was. It's laughable. I mean, you shouldn't really laugh about it, but we scored eight goals, so it, it doesn't matter. But what were we doing? Just the marking on the defence for when Zeko scored ahead of Maguire and Bari just split like the Red Sea defensively all out of shape tonight. And the first 15 minutes, you could tell that we were 6-2 up, especially that bit where Shaw was just jogging back and De Gea had to make a save. Just De Gea saves left, right and centre. I've been saying for a, I've been saying for a while now that it feels like the right summer for De Gea to be moved on from United and for De Gea to move on from United. From his own personal perspective, he's just had a kid. edern has been kept in Manchester for a long time. She's remained patient. And for me, this seems like the summer where it, it seems to suit both parties because we've got Dean Henderson coming through. But what... A performance that that there was the De Gea that we all love, that we all miss, and that if he was still playing like that, Dean Henderson wouldn't even be getting a sniff in this team. But as I said, because we've got Dean Henderson coming through, I personally think it's the right time for him to be moved on, and for him himself, just as importantly, he's been a massively fantastic player and servant for United. He stayed from Ferguson to Moyes to Van Hal to Mourinho to Solskjaer. He's been through all of that. Whereas other players, you know, there's plenty of players that walked away. He hasn't. He stayed. I think he deserves all the credit and he deserves to start that Europa League final. And if that is his send-off and we win it, I'd love nothing more to, than to see David De Gea wearing that captain's armband in that final. But United are in the final of the Europa League. 
we are now 19 minutes away from Ole Gunnar Solskjaer winning his first trophy as United manager. And I can't wait. I'm I'm so upset that I'm not going to go Gdansk. I'm so upset. Genuinely, genuinely upset. I know plenty of lads who have booked it. A few booked it tonight. It's going to be a great trip. There's going to be fans there. And I've missed it. I've missed football so much. Those European games anyway. And it'll be brilliant. I don't know who's in the final. Uh, actually, let me just check here. Uh, when I was looking last time, it was Villarreal. Let's see if that is still the case because Arteta's Arsenal. Nil-nil. Imagine that. Going out nil-nil when you just need to score one goal. Oh, goodbye. Arteta. Woo. Absolute stinker. First time in like 25 years, Arsenal won't have any European football. What a shame. Tell you who does have European football. United. We're second in the league, comfortably in the Champions League next year, and we now have a chance to win the Europa League. And I'm not saying this is going to be Solskjaer's, Mark Robbins, and FA Cup moment like it was for Fergie, but winning that first piece of silverware just gets the monkey off his back. It just allows Solskjaer to settle down, to focus. The semi-final hoodoo is gone. Let's win that silverware. Let's head into next season with a trophy in our cabinet, hopefully with a couple of good signings, building on the successes and the progress that we've made this year. And if you can make that culminate in a, in a piece of silverware, it's a huge step in the right direction. And that's why that 90 minutes would effectively change the narrative of how this season has been for United. If at the end of that 90 minutes we lose, it's a season where oh, we only finished second behind City. That's not progress. It's just the same old story. Blah, blah, blah. If we win that trophy, Solskjaer's had a fantastic season of progress. Semi-final, done. Final, done. Silverware, in the bag. Bruno Fernandes is there. Get Cavani to sign a new contract. Keep Pogba. Sign a defensive midfielder. Sign a new centre-back if you fancy it. Bring Jadon Sancho in too. Then head into next season. We could be in absolutely fantastic shape. By far and away the best shape we would have been in in a long, long time. But Cavani, man, he's good. For me, he's better than Zlatan Ibrahimovic was for United. Zlatan, I love watching Zlatan. He was frustrating to watch at times, but just the presence of the man was a sight to behold. And I see the same thing in Cavani, but I see more quality, far, far, far more quality and influential quality on the players around him. And that cannot be underestimated. Cavani has basically taken us to the final there with seven contributions in the eight goals we scored. And luckily, we did score eight because our defence was absolutely pony. Who was your man of the match? For me, it's got to be David De Gea. As, as good as as great as Cavani was, it's got to be David De Gea for the amount of saves he made there. Well done, David. Well done, Cavani. Well done, United. And well done to Solskjaer. Now, we've got Gdansk. We can't mess that up. I hope you don't. Let me know what your reaction to that match is in the comments below. Do you think we'll beat Villarreal and Emery in the final? Or do you think United will bottle it? Let me know what you think. And make sure you subscribe to United People's TV if you're new. But all you've got to do is give it to Eddie.